It is DTV Day, <laughs> the long-awaited DTV Day. Yes, we have been getting so many questions about this, especially since we did DTF. Was that last week we did DTF? Yes. And everybody was like, or I was it week before last? Maybe. It was recently, and everybody was like, show me the DTV. I want to see. So DTV yeah. is the direct-to-vinyl, uh -huh. and we were doing direct-to-film printing, which pff, we're going to show you guys. So we're going to show you what we what we discovered what we think there's lots i was surprised you guys are i think i think everyone else is going to be as equally surprised as i was yeah i mean don't you think i had we had weird results so we did have weird results um do i still love dtv yes the feel oh, yeah, of it too. chef's kiss yeah it's high quality um it was i, mean, I don't know like i still have we still have a lot of testing to do yeah we do uh, if nothing else we have brought you all the don'ts today. <laughs> yes. And all of the don'ts. We were trying to, we wanted, we know how it works and like what you're supposed to do, but we kind of wanted to test out and see like, we wanted to push the limits a little bit and see yeah. like, okay, what if we don't do it that way? What if we wash it sooner? What if we, you know, yeah. different so things. That was the thing is we wanted to, ba we, and we tried and we did succeed with mm -hmm. the fails. Um, so that you all don't make those fails, so that you all, that we brought you all the fails, things not to do yeah. when it comes to DTV. Yeah. Um, and so I think that, it, listen, as far as the feel of this, like I said a while ago, I don't think you could get anything better. We mm -hmm. And we've put, we'll, we'll show you the um, vinyl and DTV side by side, printable vinyl and the DTV side by side. Yeah. And it's... It's great. Yeah, and it's really great for people who um, don't have the sublimation equipment or, like, the printer. Right. It's really good. If you've already got an e-jet printer, like, this is such a good way, especially if you can get it down to, like, a perfect science. You're going to be able to use this and make really good, high-quality projects. Like, these look like T-shirts you buy at the store. Oh, yeah, for sure. Or things you can buy at the store. We're actually, the project we're doing today is actually not a t-shirt. It's like a canvas banner, which is really cute. Mm -hmm. um, but we did test it on a t-shirt and a flower sack towel. Yep. Um, and we brought the DTF wash test. Oh, yeah, we did. So we? if y'all were at the DTF, yes. which is direct, direct to film where we did the powder, um, we washed that shirt. So, uh -huh. and honestly, I'm impressed with it. So I'm, I'm super impressed with it. We'll be able to show you guys all of that. So. so if you don't know what DTV is, let's do a quick rundown on the Caesar. It's actually the Caesar brand. Mm -hmm. um, it is their direct to vinyl printing. So what you're doing is you're taking an inkjet printer just like you would with your um, printable vinyl, and you're printing on that DTV. Yeah. The difference is the DTV is a whole lot thinner. Yes. It's a lot stretchier. It is softer. Um, a lot softer. Yeah. It has, it's supposed to be rated up to tw from 20 to 25 washes. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's, it's some good stuff, and yeah. we're going to be continuing our DTV journey. Y'all, this stuff is just, it came out not too long ago. Yeah. I know all of the craft community is going crazy over the DTV right now. It's the hot ticket It's item. the hot ticket item for sure. Yeah, and even it's sold out on 143 Vinyl because, and I ordered it whenever we did the DTF video, I ordered it on the live, and we got, I don't know, I got like six sheets. I was like, that's plenty. But not, not knowing us, knowing that we test everything a thousand times. Mm -hmm. um, and so we actually found a place to order it, um, which I linked everything below for you guys. I linked the 143 vinyl um, because we love them so much. Um, but it's, I actually emailed, I want to say her name was Courtney. She was super nice. But she told me they're um, almost going to have it in stock, like, I don't know. She said soon. Their shipment was coming in. Yeah. They she had said it was ordered be yeah. pretty soon. So um, that'll be back in stock there. There is a link for U.S. Cutter. Um, if you don't have your hands on this yet, the link is there so you guys can actually purchase them. I would purchase it now. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, you know when things like catch wind and everybody's like, I gotta, I gotta have it out. I gotta have it out. That's DTV yes, right now. Right now. So. <laughs> um, we did have a friend ask us if we had to mirror DTV and you don't mirror DTV. TV. Nope. You do have to use um, a heat transfer masking tape if you are using smaller mm -hmm. cuts. Yeah. Um, it, they recommend using the 
Caesar TTD, mm -hmm. which we never could find the... I found some on Amazon. Okay, but did you figure out what the TTD stood for? No. Okay. If you guys know what TTD have, stands for, tell me. We've been literally researching all morning. Yeah. <laughs> and I and like first to know, of all, my brain is not working. Can I just be the first to say? Or ears. I'm, my ears and brain are not working. Y'all are in a tunnel <laughs> right now. So trying to get that taken care of. So it's We're just, making it, though. We're making it. Um, but, yeah, you have to use, we have not used the TTD. We just used the a heat transfer masking tape that we had here. Yeah. Um, not and it worked fine. And it worked great. Yeah. I had no problem with it. I'm trying to think. I ordered that from 143 Vinyl, I'm pretty sure. I don't, yeah. I can't remember exactly. But that's our little hack because, um, you know, whenever Lauren first started doing it and you were cutting, she's cutting like a wreath design and it was uh -huh. the edges were curling up. And we were like, what if we just put transfer vinyl on top of it before we cut it? Yeah, so that's so, another hack that yeah. I will, I'll show you guys. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cut it on, I might, I might can cut it. I might mm -hmm. can try to finagle the print and cut and be able to do one small portion of it. Yeah. Um, and show you guys. But the only thing with the, um, with the DTV that I ran into is because it's such a thin material if you are doing intricate cuts, mm -hmm. it's really it's a little harder to get those intricate cuts. So that's why we were adding the um, the heat mask vinyl or the heat transfer tape on top of it, and then cutting it at a different setting. Um, we did a TikTok about it, but I'll go through the process today too. Yeah. Um, let's see. Can these you, are with inkjet printers. These you guys. are with a regular inkjet inkjet printer, mm -hmm. not a sub printer. Um, somebody asked if it would print work with printers that take toner. If you're talking about a laser printer that just has that black powder toner, I don't think it would work with that. We've not tested. The reason I think it wouldn't work is because when you print with a laser printer, it's printing a powder. So yeah. like that laser print is like a powder. You can't see it. Like we can't know that's what it is. Right. Um, but I just don't know that I would trust that for one through a wash. Like I feel like it's gonna yeah. wash on everything. I don't know. You can try. I mean, if you have a laser printer and you have DTV, like, try on an old shirt or something just to get a feel for it. Um, let us know. Let us yeah. know your results. We haven't tried. We have an inkjet printer. Or, I'm sorry. We have a laser printer, but I We just think. don't have the extra sheets of, D <laughs> of DTV right now. Yeah, we're waiting it. on more DTV to come in. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, it is. DTV is direct to vinyl. That's what uh -huh. it means. So, so if this is what, this is the tea towel that I did last week, and I actually, I could have, I should have brought in that fall one. Oh, let me go get Run it. Run and get that yeah, one. Yeah, because it looks good. Yeah, that one was the one that we did. Let's go overhead. We're going to talk about our first don't, guys. Thermal transfer for digital. Or this one says thermal transfer for decal. Okay, both of those. So here is our first. This is our side-by-side -side comparison. This is with the um, printable vinyl. This is with the um, DTV, okay? First thing, first no that you are not going to want to do, guys. You must wait 24 hours before you wash this material. Let me say that again. You must wait 24 <laughs> hours after you wash your material. Because guess what happens if you don't wait 24 hours? <laughs> It all stick. <laughs> it just came right off. So we know that the care instructions say wait 24 hours. But once again, we were wanting to test it so that we tell you guys what not to do. Mm -hmm. So this is the colors. Perfect. Gorgeous. The colors stayed mm -hmm. beautifully. Yeah. I am obsessed with the colors. Um, as you can see, the colors on this vinyl, like it, the vinyl wrinkled up and it kind of washed out. The colors on the DTV, awesome. Looks so good. It's, we washed it before the 24 hour mark. Yeah. So the bottom part stuck and it's still like, let's stretch this bottom part. This bottom part, it's there. Yeah. Like, I don't know. And like, how hard do you really stretch that has? Yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. And it but, doesn't separate or anything. No, but because we, like I said, washed before 24 hours, it come off. Lindsay's so, asking about using sublimation files with an inkjet printer, which 
sublimation files, the only sublimation files are PNG files. So if you have a PNG, you can print it anywhere. Yeah. It's not a it's not just for sublimation. Sublimation files are PNG files, but PNG files are like everything. So you can think print of it. PNG files, the way that I keep it separate in my head is a PNG file, and I don't know the correct acronym, but I see P as in picture. Yeah. It's a picture graphic. Like a printable. Printable is what I think. P yeah. is in printable. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> um so but the PNG is basically like a picture that's already been set up ready for you to print mm -hmm. that's where you get your stickers um you can print any of those it doesn't matter if it's on a sub printer if it's a laser printer if it's a now laser printers are going to print black inkjet printer pngs are going to print yeah how they are yep um printable network graphic png yes so the difference is what was the question? Um, she was asking, can you use sublimation files on this using an inkjet printer? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't have to be. It's not. If it says sublimation files, guys, that does that a lot of people will get you with the word sublimation files. Just remember, PNG files can be printed. Sorry, there are still gnats in here. And I'm <laughs> swatting them away. If you download your images from, if you purchase, if you're not a member and you purchase a file from someone and you download it and it says, uh, .png and .svg, and you want to use that file on a t-shirt using the DTV, you need the PNG file. Yes. I know that's a lot of letters, but the PNG file can be printed with any means. Yes. Like by any means you can print with The it. SVG is your vector graphics, which tells your cutting machine what to cut. Right. That's like a, ve that's a vector graphic. You would use so, that in a laser cutter, uh -huh. a die cutter. So the SVG is like your cutting file, basically. Yeah. Okay, so this will go overhead. This was the very first one that I did, um, and I'm obsessed. Like, it got these um, intricate cuts in here. I will say, what I had to do is I had to go back in and lay some of this down. So this material, when you cut it, and it may happen to us today, but we will, um, we'll, if we get there, if it happens, I'll show you guys. So this ends up, the little, the sides, sometimes want to curl in on themselves. So that's why it is important that if it does curl in, like technically speaking, I could have taken this off and I could have not used transfer tape. You don't necessarily have to use transfer tape. Actually with this one yesterday, uh, Alicia didn't use transfer tape. She just pulled it off, slapped Stuck it down it there. <laughs> and covered it and pressed it. So you don't have to. Um, but the tr what the transfer tape does is it helps keep these from curling up because a lot of times what will happen is you'll lay it down and then when you go to press without you knowing there may be an edge that curls up and then you press it and it presses in on itself. Mm -hmm. So that's really what the, um, what the transfer tape is for. Um, now, this is another one that I did and I'm going to show you guys this. This is another kind of like another don't. This is part of our wash test. Um, Jill is asking about, or Jill mentioned the heat transfer warehouse has packs of 50 DTV in stock. Um, yesterday, me and Courtney were looking through the different places that have it. That is a good place to buy if you want a huge bulk. Um, U.S. Cutter was a little bit cheaper. They went between $1.70, depending on the amount you get. They go from $1.70 a sheet to $2.40. So $1.70 is pretty cheap because right. even in general, they're $2.70 a sheet. Yeah. Generally. So, Tammy, not a stupid question. I, there are no stupid questions in this area. This area <laughs> is a learning area. We are here together. Right. There, there are no stupid questions. So, she asked, what is the difference between this and printable vinyl? Let me, I'm just going to use this. And I'm going to use this printable vinyl that we have. So first of all, here is, we'll go back overhead. Printable vinyl DTV. Um, and I'm going to show you this because it did come up. And we're going to try to press this back down and see if it works. I'm going to hold this up and tell me if we're good, Sadie. Do you guys see how thin that is? Like how thin? Like you can see the shadow of my finger behind that white. Like when I say this is paper, less than paper thin, this is like tissue paper thin. 
that is the um, that would be the equivalent, wouldn't you think? Um, the, probably the closest thing. The closest yeah. thing would be tissue paper thin. Yeah. So, and you all saw the stretch, how this stretches. Like, look at this. You can hear it. Yeah, it just, it's great. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. So, and this is the vinyl. I it's mean, a, you can such hear a different, different feel. Yeah, you can even kind of see the texture of the printable HTV compared to the other one. Yeah. Um, we have a Canon inkjet printer. That was um, what somebody asked. I'll link the printer that we actually use below. It's the Canon 9500. It's like, yeah, it's the 9000 series. Um, yeah. But yes, Paul also made a good question. Heat the garment for a few seconds before you lay it down. Yeah. It's always good to pre-press your garment. It will sometimes adhere to it if you're working with that, but I still recommend, I, but I, I'm the type of person I like stuff that has an intricate cut. Like I like smaller things. So using that um, heat transfer tape, it just helps me get it down smooth. Yeah. Um, it's either, I mean, it's, it's whatever you feel comfortable doing. Now back to this one. Once again, I was trying to um, literally put this through the test. <laughs> Like, I was trying my best. Um, I hand washed this one. And when I say I hand washed it, first of all, let me, can we just, can we appreciate, let's go to number one. <laughs> can we appreciate my um, my testing flower sack dish You towel? all have to see, we have t-shirts in there that have so many different mediums on them. Like yeah. Like DTF and screen print and like everything. We have a pair yeah. of jeans that are like Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Because I know. Because we bleached them and stained them. Yeah, because this is the DTF. <laughs> I, this was the first time I truly ever got the DTF right. Um, this was the very first time we did the DTF and it was terrible. It, it was absolutely ridiculous so I did we'll go back overhead I put this through the wash test so normally when you wash you're gonna want to wash this DTV on gentle on a gentle cycle okay mm -hmm. so you know when you have your garment in the washing machine it just kind of moves it back and forth and gets that in there when I say I took this towel with my nails and I went like this for five minutes I was as hard as I could back and forth so here's where we got. As you can see, and we'll try to do, I'll try to get it where you can see them side by side. I don't know if you can. Can they see them side by side? One's upside down and one's right side too. <laughs> this one, if you can see a little bit around it, this black did, I think, get on our um, cotton towel. This one was a little worse. Like I said, guys, for the way that I was scrubbing this, I'm impressed. Yeah, when I really. say I went like this and rubbed as hard as I could, that's what I did. Knowing that the washer's not going to do this. Your washer will not scrub it like I scrubbed it. But if you hand wash it, you might be scrubbing it that hard. You yeah. Know, or maybe not that aggressive, but like you're yeah. going to be still scrubbing the shirt together if you're washing it. But this one was one that we let sit for three days, washed it. I even took a heat gun to this guy's, like heat gun on high setting Did right on top it. of it. <laughs> it did not move. Look at this. Like, I'm just, I'm so impressed. And look yeah, at that. It looks really good. I mean, the, like I said, the only thing is if you're using dark colors on a white shirt, you're going to want to make sure that you wash it by itself on the gentle cycle first. Mm -hmm. Please make sure because... I don't think that it would happen to anything else in the washer. This was just me using a bunch of soap and scrubbing as hard as I could because, yeah. like I said, we were trying our best to put it through the wringer. Yeah. So I, so, think, this, I think this test, this wash test, passes. That's a pass That's for a me. pass. Yeah. That's a hard, that's a good pass. I, we're really having good. a little bit of conversation about sublimation costs versus DTV costs. And I'll say that sublimation is probably more expensive because you have to get a heat press and you've got to get a sublimation ink and you've got to get a sublimation printer. And so I think if we're talking about the cost breakdown, sublimation, DTV, you really need to ask yourself, sublimation, first of all, is going to be more expensive of a startup. Yeah. We know this. Immediately. Yeah. Immediately more, more expensive startup. 
However, you have to ask yourself, are shirts or fabrics the only thing you're gonna be working with because the Caesar DTV is specifically rated to use on fabrics. Mm -hmm. Whereas sublimation, you have all the other things that you can do with it. So you have to ask yourself, do you want to do sublimation tumblers or do you wanna do any other thing? If I were doing t-shirts, if I was strictly doing t-shirts, I personally would probably stick with the DTV. And the reason being is because sublimation you can only do on light. Unless you're planning on bleaching your shirts. Unless but. you're planning, unless the bleached look is the it thing for your area and everybody's mm -hmm. eating the bleached shirts up, that would be great. Um, but DTV is, a, I think, is a really good alternative um, because you can do it on dark colors. You can do basically you can do it on any color you want. Yeah. Whereas sublimation limit kind of limits you. You either have to do a heathered shirt, you have to do a specific um, blend, uh, a high poly blend or a hundred percent poly shirt. So I mean, it limits you if you're a t-shirt textiles person. Yes. But now if you're if you're wanting to do t-shirts, sublimation is great for that. If as long as you're going to be doing it on white, or if you want to do tumblers, sublimation is great for that. Like yeah. you can't do this on you can't use DTV on tumblers. Like you can't do that. It's no. not what it's made for. No. So. And then like for example, we do um, we have a fuzzy blanket out there that we sublimated a name on. That's so cute. I don't think the DTV would be great on that. It wouldn't be as nice feeling. No. Yeah, yeah, so, exactly. So, I mean, it, it really depends on which one that, um, you, you have to ask yourself this question, lots of questions before you get started. Or do you plan on doing more than shirts or are you strictly just a shirt person? Yeah, and we've got lots of videos where we're covering sublimation like the perks and things that you do with sublimation. If you guys are more curious about that, I see a lot mm -hmm. of co a conversation about sublimation. Um, we have tons of sublimation videos. We even have a course. Yeah. Um, but um, we did compare the cost of DTV to printable vinyl, and DTV was actually cheaper than printable, than printable vinyl. Really? J just a little bit. Just, just like a I think it was bit. twenty cents. A twenty cents difference, which surprised me because DTV's brand new and it's so good. So Michelle said I already have all of my sublimation equipment and supplies. I would have to get another printer and supplies for DTV. Yes, if you already have a sublimation printer set up, the DTV is inkjet specific. Mm -hmm. So you would have to get an inkjet printer and everything else. And we also, April asked, what's the powder technique over sublimation ink? We did a live and an organic video over that. That is what we did the DTF, which leads me into, if you've been around, you've watched kind of our videos. If you have a sublimation printer and you do want um, more of a, like this, for example, this shirt. This was the wash test. This is the direct to film DTF powder that we did over the sublimation ink. And y'all, that wash test <laughs> is superb. I mean, that looks good. Yeah. That is Except like for that stain on it. Well, and that we stains. kind of over sublimated it a little bit because remember we applied more heat to Actually, it. Actually, what happened here, it looked a lot better than when I first, like when my son wore this for his birthday, it looked phenomenal. Yeah. But we had people asking, what happens if you put parchment paper over it? Because it was very shiny. So we put the parchment paper over it and reheated it. So that's why it's kind of got a, a little bit of a faded look. That's not from the wash. It looks really good though still. Yeah, I it mean, still I looks love good. That. So um, let's go ahead since we've kind of gone over that. Alicia, if you don't care to just keep an eye on the yeah. comments. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to, we're gonna, if I can get my computer to come on. April's asking how long is the DTF supposed to last, which they'd say 20 to 25 washes, right? No, DT, not DTV, DTF. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a lot of letters. You um, I don't think this DTF is coming off this shirt. I mean, it's not, period. I don't know how many it is, but like if y'all could feel the powder shirt, yeah. the DTF shirt, I mean, it feels, I, I don't even know. I think, I mean, it's one of those things that from here on out, when I make personally make myself shirts, Unless I want something on a dark color, I'm DTF all the way. Yeah. That's just me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> That's me. So. Yeah, me too. I'm the same way. Um, 
Bless Bolding Bunch, we saw your llama cake topper request in our customer service questions this morning. Oh my goodness. We're going to have to see what we can do for you because yeah. you're committed. <laughs> so let's, oh, this is from yesterday. Let's just go to new. We'll replace this. We don't need Asher's name, do we? No, you, I don't need any of that. You can okay. just erase everything. Okay. So we are actually going to hop over here in Design Space. I'm going to go to, oh, this should already be on there. Do you remember what this is called? Um, Boho Floral. So um, we're just going to upload. We're going to come over here. Oh, look, it's right there, Lauren. Boom. Boom. It's right there. Yep. Okay, so this is literally all you have to do. Add your whatever you're doing to your canvas. We're going to size it down. Let's see. Sue says, Keep on a sizing. Sue's doing all sublimation. She's like, I went from vinyl and now all I do is sublimation. She's hooked on it. It's, it is an addiction. It really is. Even this stuff, like playing around with this stuff is addicting. So I'm going to measure my little flag that I'm putting this on. And we're working with eight by five. I think that's about, probably about what you did. Yeah, it was pretty big. Now, you might get, be limited by design space because it's a print and cut. But no, that should be fun. Well, so was this. this I know. One was. I so, anyway, <coughs> we're going to go ahead. This is literally all you have to do. Size your image. We It is already a print and cut image, so we don't have to flatten it. It's already flattened for us. Um, but we are going to hit make it. And then I'm going to continue. We are going to send to printer. I'm going to use print system dialog. This one, because I am cutting so close, I'm just going to leave the bleed on for this one. Um, and then I'm going to change my printer. We are using the Canon TS9500 series. And then for those that have been around, um, we're going to print. Oh my goodness, this gnat is about the to gnats, go in my mouth. They're on my, by my face too. Um, okay, we're going to pull this behind. But before I do anything else, Beth asked the comment. I miss the difference between DTF and DTV. Are we at one? Okay, <laughs> DTF, direct to film. That is where you have to use sublimation ink. Um, you... Mirror your image just like you would with sublimation. Direct to film. It prints onto a film. You use a powder coating and you cover that ink with that powder coating. And then you have to cook your ink, flip it over, press it onto your shirt. And this is how you can sublimate on 100% cotton. So you're not limited to polyester shirts. You can actually sublimate on 100% cotton with the DTF powder okay dtv is the caesar's new brand of a type of printable vinyl so it's direct to vinyl printing and it is um supposed to be it is i i guess i would say i'm i'm a i like it I, if i had to pick between printable vinyl or dtv i would be dtv me too all the I way agree. so yeah. it is like supposed to be the thinnest stretchiest, um, best printable vinyl that you can get out there right now. And it's now. inkjet. It is not sublimation. It is inkjet. DTV, inkjet, DTF, sublimation. Correct. Amundo. If you don't care to write that in the comments for everyone so we don't <laughs> get confused. DTF, sublimation ink. DTV, inkjet printer. Mm -hmm. We're bringing you guys both of the, well, we're not really going to talk about DTF anymore because we don't want to get you guys confused. Yeah, we really shouldn't. And, and honestly, if you guys are not in the sublimation world and you're just wanting to have a new thing to do your t-shirts and stuff, this yes. Caesar Easy Color DTV is amazing because yes. you just need an inkjet printer. You don't need sublimation printer and yes. stuff like that. Good. Good to go. Yep. There you go. Um, so if you, we had a question, can you use printable vinyl and DTV, either of those on a backpack? Um, as long as it is a canvas type material, then yeah. Yeah, I don't see why not. Okay, so back to our share screen. Once we have our 
print dialog pulled up. We are going to auto select from the rear tray. This is going to be a personal preference if your printer has a rear tray. Um, I think that the, um, I think it works best for this. We're going to turn our uh, print settings up to best and then we are going to print that. And we are going to pray that this works because this is the only sheet of DTV we have left. <laughs> did you send it to the printer? I did send it to okay, the printer. Okay, I'm going to go check. So Alicia's going to go run and grab that for us. And while she does that, I'm going to turn on our mini press, our Cricut heat press. So this is one, if you don't have a heat press, you don't have to... Um, you don't have to have a heat press for this. You can use your Cricut press, which is what we're going to be doing today. Now, the heat settings for this are very specific, okay? So, we are going to turn this on 310 degrees. Let's turn this up, turn it down. 310. Did it print? It's printing. Okay, it is printing now. So now we're going to place this on our map. Someone asked, I thought you had to go up a little higher with the easy press. Um, <laughs> these gnats are gonna They're be They're so dead. bad, you guys. Um, not that I know of, I've always only pressed at 310. Though all the ones that I've done, I've pressed at 310. Yeah. Um, so now we are going to, I have a mess on my table. Um, I, we're going to select, we're going to, here we go, select our maker. Michelle says I already geared up for following, I see. We mm. are. I'm going to have to cancel and go back. At least I didn't make her three. There we go. Okay. I'm not, I didn't move it. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> already printed. We're connecting to here. Okay. The mat um, is brand the mat new. The mat is brand new. <laughs> the mat is brand new. Yes, ma'am. I found a little, a few of them brand new. I was like, let's use that today. So we are going to print this on the printable vinyl setting. Not printed with a K. Um, we're going to do it on the light. So printable iron on light. And then we are going to send this to our printer. I'm going to move my cup so that it doesn't knock it off. And then we are going to cut this. And once you, that heats up, we should see if we can repress that on the t-shirt. It, it just heated, so let's move it right here. And we'll go ahead and try. Let's see, press play here. Okay. We're going to go ahead and see if we can repress this just in case. <clears throat> Do we have any butcher paper in here that I can just kind of lay over top of it? No, but we have coffee paper. Mm, no, I don't trust. I don't trust. I don't trust it. Oh, it's right here in front of my feet. Just kidding. I was thinking we had two rolls floating around here for a moment. Okay, so we're going to try to, pre to repress this and see if it works. So you're going to hold about medium pressure on here. For, um, if you have a heat press, I think it's 15 seconds. With this, I'm going to do a 30 seconds. Although I've already started the, yeah, no. We're just gonna go with it. Um, someone was asking how you take off the borderline. Whenever it print and cuts, it cuts around the image, like precisely around the image. So you're actually gonna weed off that border. You're not even gonna be ah. able to see it. Look at there. Is it back on? It's back on Shut like the front nothing door. ever happened. Oh. It's back on. See, I love when we find stuff out like that. Boom. So if you accidentally washed it, if you've already got it <laughs> and you washed it early, yep. or, um, you can just put it back it on It just there. goes right back on. So you have, what was your heat setting? Uh, 310 for 30 seconds. Nice. I 310 love for it. 30. I'm obsessed with that file, too. That's one of our files I am from last too. month, and it is so pretty on that shirt. Okay, so we're going to go overhead, and I'm going to make sure. This one actually did really well um, not curling. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to weed this out. Like, 
can I just like, can, are y'all just seeing this? I don't like, what do, what would you compare that feel to? And here's what oh. I was talking about curling up here on this edge. Yeah. That's what I was talking about curling up on the edge. A lot of people were saying how, you know how you heated the shirt first or the, the fabric first and then laid it down. They say that that helps the image to lay down whenever you put it on there. Yeah. But sometimes like that intricate fall wreath that you did yeah there's a lot of little curly edges and i think that that makes it really hard to even get it onto the shirt oh off there of was the transfer. no there was no way i would have been able to get gotten it off the shirt right or uh, gotten it off, off the, of here the paper without the transfer yeah. tape right so we're just going to go ahead and use this transfer tape since i know a lot of us don't have the um caesar ttd just to show you guys that it still works so I'm just going to, we have our very special little um, sticker that says this is HTV transfer tape, keep me labeled. So we're going to keep this label. <laughs> it looks like the other transfer tape. It so does. I don't like it. I want it to get confused. So we're just going to cut us a piece off of here. Probably going to cut, this is probably way too big of a piece, but it's okay. Um, we used a Canon inkjet printer, Lori, and I linked it below for you all if you're wanting to get the exact printer. It's actually not, I mean, it's a nice higher end printer, but it's not like crazy expensive. It's not an Epson workforce, so it's not wide format, but it's, um, yeah, it's like a good standard printer and we use it every day, like multiple times a day. Yeah. And it works so good. Okay. So what we are doing is we are going to... So DTV stands for direct to vinyl printing. I'm just going to add this transfer tape. And as you can see, it still likes to curl underneath the transfer tape. Yeah, Lorraine was saying when it curls, just hover the heat over it and it'll flatten it out. How cool is that? Um, Denise was asking, could you print a pattern as a background and then design a Fraser name and cut that out to transfer onto a shirt. You totally could do that. Oh yeah, for sure. And you could cut it out, like cut out with the background image as well. Like you could make it one whole image. Okay. You don't have to mirror it, Lisa. You no, just you do it. not mirror it. You just straight um, up print it. We are going to, I'm gonna lay this to the side and I'm gonna pre-press this for just a few seconds. Kristen, we have not used a leftover HTV carrier sheet, but I'll say that's a good idea. Listen, I used this this one right here, the I Smell Children. You can see I've got all of the different registration box around it. <laughs> what I did was I printed it the first time um, up in like the top right corner, and then I went to print again, moved it down here, moved it down to the bottom, turned it sideways, and then just cut out this top right corner push it up to the top right corner when I went to cut it and then cut it that way so I could cut it multiple times. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense to anybody. April asked if you used best when you printed. I don't know if you did, but we did. normally do. I did use best. Okay, yeah. It's yeah, best I did too. use best, but this file period has is a little bit, I don't want to say off, but you can kind of see it here and there. But yes, I did use best when I printed. So I pre-pressed this for... 15 seconds or so at the 310 and then I'm just going to press this with medium pressure for um, I think I'm going to do 20 seconds because I feel like 30 on that one might have been a little much but I'm going to pull it up at 20. Okay. So we're going to press it for medium pressure at 20 seconds. And you preheated the canvas banner. Yes I preheated the canvas banner pressing it for 20 seconds. Um, Siobhan asked, I missed out on the cutting. How does it do with intricate cuts? So Siobhan, the last time that I did an intricate cut, it was not the, it was not the greatest. I didn't feel like it was the greatest. You need to do this on a warm peel. Ooh, and there you go. She's pretty. And we'll oh. show you the difference. That, this is DTV. I'm replacing that on my desk now. This is, um, printable vinyl. One See of the things, um, is... This one, I will say the colors when you print it on printable vinyl um, will sometimes come out a little different. And I've seen that on multiple people's um, videos mm -hmm. is that the printable vinyl, the colors will be a little different. But y'all look at that. The DTV is inkjet. Someone said it looks like it skips spots in those tight areas. That's just the art, like that's just the look of that 
file, if that makes sense. Like that's how yeah. the artist did it. So yeah, that, this this art. It's just the way it looks like. That's the way it, that's what it looks like. It looks so pretty. I know. I love that. I know. Um, Warm somebody peel. asked if we could, if it could be layered. Mm, I would I'm like not to try it. We can try a warm pill. I'm afraid to layer it on this though. <gasps> no, layer it on layer the t-shirt. Layer it on the t-shirt. Let's layer it on the t-shirt. Cause okay. I'm hanging that one on my desk after we get out of this live. Okay. <laughs> We're going to try to layer since we obviously we can't use this t-shirt. We will do the I smell children and I'm just going to hand cut this out. Susan says, I don't understand how this will wash okay if it's inkjet. Well, we washed that t-shirt that you're seeing on the screen right now. This one was has washed. been washed. So, and also we did the I smell children dish towel. If you missed the beginning of it, you can go back and see. We washed that by hand mm -hmm. and it actually did pretty good too. So. So we're just gonna put it right here in the smack middle. We're gonna press 310, medium heat. I just did that right on top of that other one. Hold on, let's try this one more time. Let's do this. What a beautiful shirt you're making, Lauren. I know, it's gonna be <laughs> totes adorbs. The colors are very beautiful together. We're gonna do this so that it doesn't completely melt back. Okay, <laughs> oh, 20 seconds. So funny. Sue said, I have a lot of cotton t-shirts. I want to try to get this vinyl and try it out. I have a craft show coming up and I want to print on vinyl. I'm excited. I will get me some now. Get it, Sue. It's get it while it's yes. hot. It is selling out everywhere. And I'll say U.S. Cutter shipped my order and I just placed that oh, order. Already? Yeah, I just placed it before the live. So they're already shifting out my, I got some of the t, -t Okay. Oh, wait. Of course We didn't, didn't. weed off the back. I didn't weed the back off. <laughs> Can I just say, please forgive me. Lauren, you did a good job considering. Yesterday, Lauren was like, we have, we have a couch in the studio, and Lauren was ill. She was laying on the couch. Her ears were messed up. She couldn't hear us. They're still messed She's up. She's like, I can see your mouth moving. Yeah. But I don't know what you're But saying. I don't know what you're saying. I see that your mouth is moving, but I have no clue what you're saying. Oh, okay, man. let's try this again with a different one, and let's actually weed the back off of it this time. <laughs> um... Someone else said, how does it not wash out or bleed if it's just ink to ink? Y'all, I don't know. I don't know. I am not a scientist. Now, we will play around in here and do some weird stuff, but, like, I don't know why it works, but it does work. You so know, you I would love to pick the brains of the people at Caesar. Yeah, we need to be getting in with whoever comes up with this stuff. We would, we would be good employees there. We would do a good job. Because we're always testing stuff out like that. Yep. We'll we'll test all your products, Caesar. Okay, try it again. Try it again. Right, we're we doing try. this again. We actually weighted the back this time. <laughs> Let's try this again. Everyone's putting laughing emojis. <sighs> yeah. So funny. Someone says, I've seen it layered with puff. Oh. We just got, well, we ordered puff additive for screen printing ink and glow in the dark, didn't you? Uh, or glitter. 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 Glitter for screen print. Our and order burst. Puff. Our order burst in the shipping yeah. process. Which Michaels was great. They were phenomenal. Oh, they were really nice. Um, also, can I just say the amount of times that I have pressed this in the on the bottom and it still looks good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. There you wow. go. What's it feel like? Can I touch it? It feels like nothing. It doesn't feel layered. Like you at can't all. feel the layers. I layer. can't feel the layers. That's hot. That's very hot. I can't I feel that. the layers here. Let me feel. I'm curious. It looks good. It looks seamless. So what I was getting at, um, some, who was it that asked me about the intricate cuts? Give me a second and I'll think. Um, anyway, I can't remember your name, but you asked me about the intricate cuts. So I was having issues with the intricate cuts with the DTV. Um, and we'll go over here. This is what all of this testing was is because I was having, which this bleed is on, so the cuts are a lot more intricate. And here is what it should have looked like after it was cut. So you can see the bleed is on. The, it, these are very small cuts over here to the side. Can they see now? Okay, so these are small cuts. What I did, um, Siobhan, that's who it was. What I did is I went ahead before I cut this, I added the heat transfer vinyl to the top and I, you have your registration box. I cut it with 
medium cardstock settings with more pressure. So what ends up happening is this layer, this layer of the heat transfer tape stays on and you can weed everything out and those intricates come out so perfect. Well, because the, yeah, they're stuck down. They're stuck they down. They can't go anywhere. They can't go anywhere. So, and it doesn't curl up, it doesn't do anything. Then what you can do, come over with a second layer of the um, heat transfer tape pick it up off the backing, and then lay it down. Actually, let's go over to Design Space. Let me see if I can recreate this. I'm not gonna be able to print it, but I'm gonna try to recreate it, and I'm gonna see if I can cut it for you all live so you see what I'm talking about. So let's go back here. We're going to just delete this out because I don't need this again. We're gonna go to Upload, View All. Where's the I Smell Children? Focus ball. Oh, there it there is. There it is. Oh, found it. Okay. I love that. You know what? I don't know what size I have it though. Um. I really don't know though. Let me go to my projects and see if it's here. I just want to show you guys how this can cut. Yeah. Um, so Lisa said, so you have to have transfer tape for this. No, you no. do not have to. You don't. You don't have to. Now, if you're doing an intricate cut, that is our little hack that helps. But a couple other people said that they hovered their heat press over it and it lays there, yeah. it lays it back down. So that's a little hack that you could do. Um, everyone's freaking out about Hocus Pocus. <laughs> I know. Okay, so y'all, I'm not seeing, um, I could guess I could try to measure it. Let me try to measure it. Sin wanted everyone to know that the Hocus Pocus files are for personal use only. They're not covered by the commercial license. Right. They're still cute and gorgeous. And I'm putting one on a sweatshirt today. <laughs> They're so cute. I'm gonna do the DTF, I think, though. Okay, so it is smaller than that. We're gonna do three, and then we're gonna do an offset of that's way too much. We're gonna do, I think, I normally like to do like a point one. Yeah, we do baby offsets. We do baby, baby offsets. We just or want 08. it to pop, you know what I mean? I think I might have done. 0.08. Let's double check on this. Smell, children know this. I did even smaller than that. I bet I did 0 0.5. 0 0.05. So what are I bet right there is what I did. Oh, are you trying to cut I'm it? Gonna, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to show you guys how you can cut it, do intricate cuts, and get it to go, like, cut through and right. do the double layer of the heat transfer. Okay. Okay? So we're going to try it. Um, and then we're going to flatten this. And then we're going to, that looks, honestly, that looks perfect. Um, we're going to go to make it. We're going to already print it. And if this don't work, guys, this is, you all know why. It's because I had pre-printed this a long time ago. Or I say a long time ago on Friday. So what I'm doing now, what are, what are people saying? Well, I'm snagging the link for the DTF video because people keep asking questions. And I want you guys to see that. But I don't want, we're not going to keep talking about it on this live because I don't, it's confusing because the letters are so similar. It is very confusing and I don't want to get people confused. So yes, please. Um, I'm going to give it the link to Sadie so she can plug it in there for if you If we guys. can plug in that DTF so we don't get confused with DTV and DTF. Yes. Okay. Okay, Gail, yes, I said Hocus Pocus in September release. We're very excited. They're so, so cute. And if y'all are not members are cute, like cute enough. I, okay. I will be like, sign me up. Now, once again, please don't shoot me if this doesn't cut perfectly. I just really wanted to show you guys how you can do the intricate cuts. So we're gonna load this into our maker. Real quick, let's go overhead. I already have a piece of this heat transfer tape on top of this. This is only for intricate cuts. This is when you get intricate cuts. This is not all the time. Some of our um, fonts have very skinny areas that would be hard for this DTV to, I mean, it would probably cut, but it would curl very easily. So, once again, for intricate cutting on the DTV, this is what I have found works. Add a layer of heat transfer tape before cutting. Now, we're going to put it in our Cricut. We're going to load it in. 
Now let's go to our share screen. We are going to search cardstock. I'm going to cut this on medium cardstock, okay? Medium cardstock with more pressure. I and was like, what's that noise? It's it scary. Me. <laughs> yes, if you don't have intricate cuts, you can you don't have to have a Cricut to cut this DTV. No. You can use scissors to cut this DTV. You don't have to have a Cricut at all. Um, this is just if you want those precise cuts, you can use a Cricut. Um, so far, the only size, I did see somebody ask if there was a size limit for the DTV. Um, have you seen anything, anything over eight and a half by 11? Um, no. Or do they have it in rolls? Can you buy it in rolls? Uh, yeah, I want to say that they have 20. Four inch. Let me check okay. though, because I feel like I saw on um, 143 vinyl they offer 24 inch, but uh, let me let me double check because I don't want to tell y'all. Now y all. we're cutting. No, this will not cut into the mat. The sheets are actually 8.4 by 11, and that's all that they offer. But based on Lauren layering that vinyl, if you had a big image and you needed to put four together, you could do it seamlessly. I have no doubt. I oh, feel yeah. like you could put but four pieces of paper up to each other to make a large image or even like two sheets of paper or whatever it takes. And if you butt them up close enough, they're going to look seamless. Yeah. So that's an option. And you don't have to use design space either. You can use Canva. Oh, absolutely. Like if you're wanting to do a bigger image, you could use Canva and just print it onto multiple sheets of paper. Yes. And then we are going to... Um which I'm glad that this heat for transfer tape, um, I didn't throw it away because you can reuse this multiple times. So what will you use that for? So I'll show you guys in a minute. Okay. These cuts are not going to be on. Yeah, Lauren had already printed printed the image and then we didn't have it still in design space. So and we, we don't have any more it. sheets of DTV. Yeah. So this is why we're doing it this way. But you guys will get the idea. Yeah, that makes Lisa, sense. you don't have to have a cutter. Um, you can c cut this by hand. Like, that's completely up to you. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, this is way off, but it's okay. It's fine. There's no size There's no size limit necessarily to DTF, but the right. sheets are 8.4 by 11. Okay, so. let's go overhead. I mean, I feel like for my guessing game that I just did, <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. But see, when you cut it, when you have the transfer tape over top of it, and you cut it with medium cardstock settings, these intricate pieces stay down, and y'all watch. All I have to do is come in here, and I'm going to weed this out, and that stays down. Like... That's there. And that's it. And, and that's it. And then I'm going to come, like this part right here wouldn't come up with, but, but here I'm just going to grab my pen pen tool and move that out of the way. And that's, I mean, now what you're going to do, that's just where it didn't cut. Now what you would do, if you're doing intricate cuts, come in with your second sheet of transfer tape, heat transfer tape. We're going to lay it down burnish it down and then pull that right off of there and now all you have to do we'll pull back in our tester towel since that's not the tester towel that's the project towel pull back our pull our tester towel back in we're going to give it another good pre-press it didn't tear the dtv and it did cut all the way through Absolutely. This is why I tested so many times on Friday. It's magic. I love it. I love Remember, this, this is still with two layers. So I'm still just going to do that 310 for 20 seconds. I'm going to, um, we're going to add the link to the description of this video. Um, if it's not here immediately, it will be there eventually. But um, it's not letting us put the link in the comments for some reason. Um, so I'm going to put the link to the DTF video if you guys have questions about direct to film printing it's going to be in the description. And then this is actually just pulling up that second layer with it. 
you can see on here that second layer of um, heat transfer film or heat transfer tape is on there. Y'all, da 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 da. Da 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 da. No more exacto knives. That was my that was my whole press pretense with this is I didn't want to have to come in here with a true control knife or an exacto knife and try to make the cuts that the Cricut did not make. So this is how I have learned to do the intricate cuts with the DTV. I love it. I think that's so awesome. Um, so really what we're gonna be doing today, we've talked about our honest review. We've already said we love it. It's, it's a great, great product. Like, go get it right now. <laughs> um, if you don't have printable vinyl already. Where it is, I have found, I don't even want to say issues, but where I have found that it's a little harder in some trickier. instances. Trickier. Is when you do intricate cutting. Okay. So I have a trick that I have come up with. It's a trick and a treat. Ooh. It's a hack, a trick, a treat all <laughs> together. Where we are going to be making those intricate cuts with the DTV, but it's going to stay flat. So a lot of people Love that. that I have, where I, my research that I've done, a lot of bloggers that I've seen, um, because it's not sticky on the back, right. which is great when it comes to like like t-shirts oh, and yeah. things. Um, it gives it that thinner feel. Yes. Because it's not sticky on the back, it tends to curl up, right. especially those little tiny pieces. So I've kind of done something, and we're going to go over everything. It's going to be um, awesome. You yes. all are going to love it. So this is going to be a really, really great time for you all to kind of just sit back, relax, learn a lot about the hack today. You're also going to get to see us use the product a little bit more than maybe you've seen in other videos. We're going to really focus in on diving into about like what you all need to know about the DTV. It's a really awesome product. I honestly think for anyone that has a lot of printable HTV and things like that, definitely like work through that if you want, but also like start thinking about adding this in or maybe, you know, going ahead and grabbing some so you can know when to use what. Because like Lauren was saying, when you're using, when you're making a t-shirt, oh, yes. y'all, this product is going to be something you're going to want to have that because you're going to make the best quality possible. Now, t-shirt, like this is top, I'm talking top quality yeah. t-shirt material. It's, it's going to be great. So I think you're going to really it. enjoy it. As you all are deciding to get on and off the fence, I think you'll really, really enjoy learning more about it. I also want to let you all know that we did, so Friday I let you all pick um, what giveaway I, I was going to give away. Um, and that was, and you all picked the Caesar DTV. Yeah. And I had no idea we were doing that today. So that's what we're doing. So, so what we are doing today, we are making this really cute tea towel that can hang in your kitchen. So we'll go overhead. Um, we realized once we started making all of the different, um, all of the different projects, we were like, wait. Y'all, we don't have a football project. Yeah. So I felt like this was a great one to, it's not like in your face football. It is still very fall. Like, I don't feel like if you saw this, uh, if you saw this hanging. Oh, it would not be in my face. It would, not you would not all. think it was football no. until you got up close and yeah. read what it says. And let me tell you, there's so many of us celebrating and watching all the football action. Oh, absolutely. Between college and I think the NFL, NFL played last, everything last else. Night. Um, so that's awesome. So super fun. So this is why I decided on this specific. Um, I have actually have a couple, three different cut files together. Ooh. Can you believe I have three different cut no. files in this thing? Yeah. So Wait, we're where's be the third one? The little footballs. Oh, you added the footballs. I added the footballs. So let's go over here. Oh so you can gosh. see I took this fall wreath, which no is a way. cut file of Maker's Gonna Learn. Love it. And then the, I added the little footballs in Stop just it. as a little tiny little detail. I didn't even notice. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. So we're going to be guys are gonna love it. Um, kind of messing around with that. And so let's go ahead and we're going to go over the materials that we need. So obviously we need a tea towel. Now this is just one that we got off Amazon. We buy them in bulk. It is just a regular um, cotton tea towel not anything special. You can get them so many different places. Amazon, Walmart. Um, <laughs> I'm going to break a chair over here. <laughs> no, those chairs are just not very sturdy. Um, you can get them anywhere. Obviously, we are working with the Caesar DTV. Um, I also have the, um, what is this? It's the Caesar. 
It's the DT. It's not. It's like their carrier sheet. Yes. What is it called? TTD. That's it. The Caesar TTD. This is the carrier sheet. Now, um, we just got this in. I have not tested, so you all know that I love to test on a live, see if it works, crafting together. Um, so we are going to, I personally, when I made this one, just used HTV transfer tape that we had on hand. So, I, we, we, like I said, we just got this in, so we're going to try this. I'm sure it's going to cut the same. It's not going to be a problem, but we do have the Caesar TTD. Um, I know I'm going to get the question, do you have to have the TTD with the um, direct to vinyl printing, the DTV stuff? Let's go to one. So, Caesar does suggest that you use the TTD. Um, I use just... HTV um, transfer tape that I had and it yeah. worked fine. That's awesome. So use what you use, use what, you, what want, you have. Take what you want. Yes. <laughs> take what we say. Everyone we... saying the footballs look more like pine cones. That's literally what I thought well, too. Okay, or so that's, that is literally that's, <laughs> but that's what you wanted. That's what I wanted. I didn't want it to be in your face. I wanted it to be a very subtle design. Yeah, that's awesome. So that's where we were going with that. Um, Obviously, you are going to need a light grip mat. We have our brayer, and then I'm going to be using the Cricut Easy Press today. Um, I, you can use the Easy Press. You can use, if you have a heat press, use the heat press. It was just a lot easier for me to bring in the Cricut Easy Press, so I just brought that in, and that's it. We had a lot of questions um, on Friday about, like, Wait, do I have to have any heat press? No, you, whatever heat source you have available uh -huh. is what we recommend today. Yep. Um, and you know, Lauren, just when you're before we move forward, while we're still on supplies, right. can we just talk about like what have you noticed comparing DTV to some of our favorite printable HTV? Like, what should we? What should everyone at home like? Just when we're talking from a material standpoint, because we, we, you've seen on camera and things that we love the feel mm -hmm. of the DTV on fabric, but what other things should people be looking out for? When buying yeah, between when the two? Yeah, when purchasing, when deciding, you know, okay. things like that. Um, actually, we've looked at the price. Yeah. Price point is a big thing. And I've, listen, I'm with you guys. Price point is always yeah. huge um, for me, too. So... I think we did a comparison of the vinyl, that printable vinyl that we had and the DTV. Right. And the DTV was like maybe a couple cents cheaper. Oh, okay. But cool. per sheet. Wow. Um, I like that the DTV has a lot of stretch. Like yes. it's insane. Which which this tea towel period, it you just doesn't have it. stretch. But with most t-shirts, you need some flexibility. Yeah. Um, it's a lot thinner of a feel. It's so good. So thin. <laughs> Y'all are going to love it. You are, really. If you've not tried it, it you got to try it. Yes. What was the question again, Alyssa? Um, just anything else when they're purchasing it. You know, anything they should look out for, you know, from deciding printable versus DTV. Is there any, or is there any instance, r real quick, on, I'll change my question, any difference, like, when you would have to say, you know what, still stick with printable heat transfer vinyl? Not that from I from every have, and we've made probably upwards of five plus projects. Now. Not that I have come up on. Okay. If you this if, is good to know. I mean, this my personal opinion. Use the printable vinyl you have. Test the DTV if you like it. Um, especially now that we are bringing you how to do the intricate cuts. Yes. And I want to let you all know we have linked the Caesar Easy Color DTV that you can get one sheet. So if you're if you're like on the fence, like this is a two dollar and seventy cent investment from our friends at One Four Three Vinyl. They have great shipping, so yeah. definitely check it out. Yeah. Anyway. So let's go ahead and jump over into Design Space, and I'm going to show you guys um, how we're actually just going to design this together. Like I don't have it printed off. Normally I try to come prepared, and we have stuff. We've gotten to where we have stuff printed off ready, y'all. I forgot to save this project, so we are completely from scratch doing this together. So if we hop over here to Maker's Gonna Learn, I'm gonna show you the cut files that you're going to need um, for this project. So first thing, we are just going to type in fall because honestly, two of the three that we're gonna be using, if you'll just search fall, will pop up when you search the word fall. Um, so the first one that we're gonna be using is fall means football. You will need to download that one. I already have it downloaded. If you don't know how to download it, um, all you have to do is click on this cloud icon. It will pop up down here in the bottom. You'll open it up and then add it to your Cricut Canvas. And then we're going to go to our next page, which 
can we just talk about all of the amazing cut files, like oh. all these fall cut files that I'm just, I'm obsessed I with. I mean, I just want to let you all know, out of the seven, 8,000 cut files, there's over 1,500 to 2,000 just Christmas files, and there's over 1,000 just fall and Halloween. Like, this is, yes. the, like, the vast majority of our library is focused in for this area for this purpose. So if you've been on the fence about membership, you are going to be well taken care of through the entire holiday season with cut files. Yes. So, uh, Roberto, if you will just click that link where the fall, um, if Sadie yes. will drop that for you, if you'll click that, you can go there and that's where you will sign up for the annual membership. Okay, second cut file we're going to be using is the fall print wreath. And I'm actually going to show you guys a couple different ways that you can work with this file. Um, once again, I already have it downloaded. We're just, we'll just go ahead and download this again because I do need to, I'll, I'll do this. And then the next one we're going to be using, we're just going to type in football with two L's, not one. It'll still search with one. <laughs> I thought I hit the L twice. And then... Oh, I'm just dreaming about our new website, Lauren. I know. I'm, I'm getting really giddy over it. I so, know. Woo. Really, um, any of these, I think I used this one because they are separate. Um, so we'll just download that one as well. And then you can just take those out. This is already a PNG. Um, so it works really well with that. And then we're going to head over to Design Space. Now, what I was meaning by the two different ways you can work with the wreath, I'm going to go here and I'm going to change my settings real quick. And I'm going to put a partial grid on here just so you all can see the difference, okay? So first thing, when you upload this file, we're going to go to View All. Once again, here you can see this, but I'm going to I have a reason that I'm not do, pu pulling that one in. Um, so the first one that we are, here it is. We're going to pull this in. We're going to add this to Canvas. Now this is how I have made this tea towel. And I'm going to blow this up. Do you all see a grid in the middle of this? No. Nope. No. So what's going to happen is this is going to cut all the way around it. So it's going to have the white in the middle. However, we're working with a white tea towel. So you know what? It works. It's fine. One thing I do want to show you guys is you can remove this white part if you want to. If you are working with a different color tea towel, you can remove that white part. The cuts are going to get a little more intricate. So Ooh. let me just go ahead and tell you, I'm going to forewarn you. Today, we're just going to be doing it this way, but I also wanted to show you the other way. So I'm going to go to upload. This is what I've already done, but I'm going to show you how to do that. So we are going to go to our downloads um, right here. It's going to pop up as the MGL. Um, oh, okay. Important part of this. Let's go back to design space because guess what? I didn't unzip this file. There we go. You have to unzip your files. Super Always easy. click on them Just and unzip them. them. Just, Just click, click on, on them and unzip them. Because what happened is when I was in Cricut, I went to downloads and I picked the zipped file. So let's go back here. I'm still, oh, I'm still picking the zipped file. Okay, let's find it. Let's go to, actually, you know what we're going to do? Just we're gonna, we're so gonna pull Cricut to the side. I do a little drag and drop action. Go we're gonna to pull your Cricut to the side. We're gonna go here. We're gonna pop this guy. Cricut. This is literally me half the time, just like. Wait, and then we're needing. Oh, that's fall. That's not. That's not the one that I need. Where is it at? Oh, you should have left. So just go to downloads and scroll up. Ha uh ha. -huh. There we go. Now it's unzipped down here. We are doing the PNG, so we're dragging and dropping. It's, sometimes Amazing. it's hard to find files. It does. You know, we could teach a whole class on the best organization of Kay. files if you are interested. Yeah. Like. So we're doing complex. Now, if you just look at this, it looks like, oh, yeah, it, we may not have white in here. So we're going to hit remove background. Now, let me just go ahead and let you know, this is only if you have Cricut access. Can you remove the background for a file? If you can't, y'all, the white looks so, fine. So, well, actually, no, Lauren, go ahead and click back. Go, um, go and do that. No, 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 up at the top, right, uh, closer, over, over to the right. Right there. Right. Click that. Okay. Go down to manual and click just the select. 
And you oh. can actually, this is like two clicks. Click that. Oh, so it's, I thought the background no. remover was just. Just cricket. the automatic. Just the automatic? Yeah. So oh, this snap. is old fashioned. So just click that twice. Can you believe click the middle. I, I didn't know that. <laughs> click the middle. Okay, look, and now click the outer edge. Bada bing, bada bing. And now click the other edges. There's a few more, you know. So, Lauren's so it's going just through. the auto. This is free 99, y'all. What? You don't got to pay for nothing. So this is actually, I prefer manually cleaning up my images because then, you know, you can have, you can decide wow. how, how in depth you want to go. Because you could leave some of that white, Lauren, to make it where it doesn't cut. Yeah, you could. You know what I mean? So you have that. So let's go to restore. If I didn't want yeah, to. Yeah, or you could undo or whatever. I can just restore all of this. Look at that. Free 99. Free. No access needed, my Free. friends. Never mind. <laughs> Scratch what I said. So what I'm getting at is you can remove the background. Yeah. And we're going to apply this. It's going to be a print and cut image. Boom. And so here we go. Add to canvas. Bada bing, bada boom. Y'all can see the difference. Amazing. So... It's really whatever you want. It depends on how you want to do this. Um, so the cross mark is just where it's selected. Um, anyway, so we have one that that has the white on the inside, one that does not. Really and truly, guys, it is whatever you feel the most comfortable with. Yes. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to do with the white on the inside because, once again, we're working with a white tea towel, so it really doesn't matter. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload our uh, fall means football. I already have it in here, so I'm just going to type fall means or fall means football. We're going to add this to our canvas. Now, we are going to size it down. But first, before we size it down, what I want to do is I'm going to add an offset um, because I really like how the offset looks. Probably going to go down to about a 0.18. For some reason, 0.18 to me feels comfortable. That's what has always felt comfortable. I don't know. I don't know if, if it's because eight's my favorite number. So we're going to add that offset. I'm going to change the color to brown. And then I'm actually going to change the color of the fall means football to orange. And I'm going to go to advanced. And we're going to make it a little deeper. Maybe a little more orangey. I think I like that best. Now, because I don't want all of this inside those words, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my offset. I'm going to go down to contour, and I'm going to hide all contours. Now, what this does is this literally just gives you the outside of your offset. And I think fills in all those it pieces. fills in all those little pieces. I just feel like it makes it look more cohesive. Um, so we're going to grab both of them, move it in here, size it down, and then fit it to where we want it. Now, this would be great from I here. Love it. You could flatten it, bada -bing, print bada -boom. it, be done. Um, but we wanted to add a little bit more detail, so love we are going to go back to view all. We're going to top in football. Amazing. And then, okay, so it, I may have used, you know what, we're going to upload that other one because I like the other football yes. better. We're going to go to upload image. We're going to go back over here to finder. And while she's doing that, let me just let you all know, when you join Makers Gonna Learn, or maybe you're already a member, you know, once you upload one file, you can search on your uploaded image area and find your Makers Gonna Learn files through your Cricut account. So you're not gonna constantly upload those files. It's actually a really, really easy process to get these files uploaded. I mean, super fast and super easy. Okay, that's kind of a distressed football, but I think we're gonna go with yeah. it. I think we're gonna go with it. So it is a print and cut image. We're gonna upload it into our canvas. We're gonna select it, add it to canvas. And then what we're going to do is we are actually, because it is all together, what we're going to do is we're going to separate this out. So I am going to grab a shape, if I can find one. We're going to grab a square. Some, I just always tend to go for the square. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just my comfort zone. Select both. Slice that out. 
taken it forever. Yeah, sometimes design space may take a little extra time. Oh, there it is. Okay, awesome. Love that for me. What did it do? <laughs> design space, hello. Y'all, what? What? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, what just happened? What? Look at all these layers. We, we're just, mm. Okay. <laughs> Um, is it like using the offset? So maybe you're going to put sublimation on glitter. Um, so this could be done with sublimation. Yeah, that's a great way to look at this file. If you instead don't want to, you know, do any of this, you could sublimate this and do things like that. Um, super fun. Okay, so y'all know design space can really sometimes be a pain. We're just yes. going back with this one. Now, We're going Savannah, with the mom. Now, Savannah had a great question. So name files, makers going to learn file name. So when you upload a makers going to learn file, we have named it for you. So for example, if you have this football mom, mm -hmm. you would search, you know, what was the name of that file, Lauren? Did you remember? The football mom? Yeah, sorry. We're going to go back. Um, um, what's it called? If you, if you knew where it was. It do, is. Do, 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 do. We're finding it just in case you all wanted it, but just to see an example, any of these files are already named. Um, so it's super, super easy. There's so, just American football. There, yeah, you can just grab so, an American football yeah. or whatever, but it's already named. So you'll really, mm -hmm. really enjoy that. Um, so yay, super fun. Um, someone else said that uh, Sloss didn't work last night for her either. It Obviously it's a cricket issue. It's not a me issue. <laughs> um, so, well, with this one specifically, we're going to blow it up. What I did, I remember what I did now. So what I did, because I did use this file. Now, we have just the regular football file. You, there's so many different ones you can go with. It's whatever um, you want to use. So because this one, because we can see the grids behind this one, that doesn't have the white. So if I put it over here, that those floral pieces are going to show through. So what I did is I added an offset once again. Um, and you can go this one, let's go up to point because I have blown it up. It is going to be, the margins are going to be a little bigger. Um, we'll go to point two seven. Actually, let's go to point two eight because I want this to be a little bit more flat. Love it. Let's go to three. Okay. We'll just go with that. We're going to apply that, turn it white. Select these both. I'm already. I'm going to go ahead and flatten these together, so it kind of makes that hard, that white hard to see. And then I'm just going to size this down. And what I did is I kind of placed the footballs where I wanted them. Um, so I like this one here, but I want it toward the back. So what I'm going to do now is arrange, send to back, so it still kind of peeks through, like right. you don't know it's there. Um, and then I'm going to duplicate these footballs three or four different times. Um, this one that. I want to. Flip horizontally. I want it going that way. I want to size it down. I want to turn it, put it there. We'll put this one. Um, we'll make this guy going this way. Size him down. Look at that. This is Next great to for that any type of project. Acorn. I want another guy back here, but I want to send him to back, and I'm going to make him a little bigger because I want to cover up that white spot. So now we're going to go arrange, send it back. Amazing. Oh, well. We've had some questions about um, can I use, like, what type of ink are we using? We're using an inkjet printer. Um, so this is a really, you know, very similar to printable HTV, but just a little bit easier and better, better quality when you're using to stretch it and things. This is a brand new, like, hot off the press. Who knows? I mean, this is mm -hmm. very new material. So I think it'll become, like, an industry standard. Um, really quickly. Oh, yeah. So this one I am going to move, send that one to back, arrange, send to back. So, I mean, you all get the gist of it. We're literally yes. just kind of moving these around, sizing them up and down, placing them where we want them. Love um, it. Um, making them part of, keeping some in the front, sending some to back, um, but really making them part of that wreath. Okay. Awesome. So we're sending that one to back. So, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. So, yeah. now what we're going to do is we're going to select, make sure you grab select it all. It we're going to select it all. And then we are going to, actually part of this is, let's flatten this. We're going to select this. Can you all this, hear the Glowforge going on it next together. Door? Oh, 
I did. A, I made a boo boo. Oh, I made let's a show them. Let's show them. Let's show them. Okay. So I forgot to flatten these two together first. So we're gonna flatten our offset and our text together. Flatten those. Then we're gonna grab that and we're going to grab this, flatten it together. Amazing. Right. Yep. And then we're going to grab the rest. Oh, see, some of these move to the back. So what you're going to do, we're going to arrange, we're going to bring this one to front. We are going to, this one went to the back, we're going to bring it to front. This one, we're going to bring to front. Some of them are already in the back. So now what you're going to do, once again, we're selecting them all. These are flattened already, so you can't like flatten it all together. But what we're going to do is we are going to attach them. You can't weld because it's not right. It's not print and cut. All right, it's not a basic cut. So we're just going to attach them all together, size it down to the size that you need. So we are going to let's go overhead, and I'm actually just going to do this on the back side of this. So we are going to take our measuring tape, trusty measuring tape. Um, I think a, you know, five by five is going to look good. Love it. Or you could even go smaller. Well, actually, let's go to, to about a four and a half. So we're going to go on down back in the design space down to a four and a half. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select make it. Now it's ready for the print and cut. So we are going to select continue. We are going to send it to printer. We are going to use our Canon inkjet printer. That's all you need for this. We're turning the bleed off. We don't need the bleed okay. using system dialog. Now people want to know the settings. Let's, we're let's getting show there. them. We're getting there. So now we're going to hit print. Remember your system dialog pulls up behind. So I'm using my Canon inkjet printer. We're going to feed from rear tray just because that works best for me. Best. If you don't have those capabilities, do not worry about it. We're going to turn it to best. Media type, we're going to go to, I've always used, let's see if we can do paper. Um, let's see, no. So we're just going to do, for this specific printer, it only gives you um, photo or plain paper. We're just going to do it on photo paper. And then we're going to send it, and we're going to print it. Love it. Um, so many good questions. Why the Canon instead of the Epson? So it's funny, we are kind of like Canon print and cut people, but Epson sublimation people. That's just how the cookie crumbled yeah. um, for us in our journey of cricketing and grafting. And really um, all of our all of our inkjet printers are Canon. Yeah, well, so I actually, full disclosure, I used to work for Canon. I'm going to go grab um, that. Yeah, you quick. grab that. I'll <laughs> chat time with Tanner. Um, I used to work for Canon. So Canon hooked us up with many, many printers, and they've actually spent a lot of time to develop some amazing crafting printers. Like they have printers that are really wide format um, and things like that for 12 by 12 cricketers um, or digital scrapbookers and things like that. So we really love Canon and they have great quality products. And I've never had a problem. I mean, I've used them since I worked with them in like 2017 um, and I've never had a reason to find another inkjet printer. Um, so that's awesome. And no mirroring. When you're using any printable HTV, DTV, um, any other of these specialty materials, you're printing right on the actual material, which you'll understand more when we bring in that transfer sheet. So you'll understand that here in a moment. Um, yeah, so let us know if you have an awesome printer that's not Canon um, related. You know, we've used many of them. Um, so let us know. I now always do it on plain paper first to make sure I do it correctly. That's awesome. Okay. Woohoo! So here is our final design that we have. Now this is where um, you all are going to need to really hone in. Okay, so okay? y'all have been just putting us in like your other browser, you've been shopping around, working, come back to us for a few minutes. Yep. Lauren is going to teach you the hack that we're super excited about. So okay. let's dive in and take a look. So we are braying okay. our DTV down to on our mat, okay? Now, here is the key. What I'm going to do now, before we send it in to cut, I'm going to place the 
This is the Caesar Ooh. TTD. It's the transfer tape. I'm going to place it over top of our cut. So you're going to place it directly over top? Yes. Wow. Yes. Directly over top. Now, if you want to cut it down so it doesn't mess with your registration marks, you can. Now, Lauren, um, we were here just a few days ago and we were having some trouble. I know. Wait, was that a live you were here for or was that me and I Alicia? Was, I was, um... Oh, you were producing. I was producing. Um, yeah, me and Alicia, y'all, The we have not been blessed with our <laughs> Cricut's uh, scanner. Okay. Um, love it. So we're going to pray that yep. the Cricut... It's, it's just going to work beautifully. It's going to work beautifully. It's a new day, a new dawn. So I'm placing the transfer tape over top of the TT or over top of this the DTV right now. Oh, I'm nervy. Don't be nervy. Don't be nervy. Okay. So we've got this. This keeps the DTV from curling. Okay. So now what we're going to do back in Design Space, we are using our Maker Three. Y'all, this can be done on an Explore series, on a Maker series. You do not have to have a Maker 3. This is just what we have in the studio. We are going to be using our fine point blade. So, this is where the settings are going to be different. Yes. Normally, we would use the printable vinyl settings for this. However, because we put the transfer tape on top, we're going to cut it on the medium cardstock settings. Ooh. With more pressure. Ooh, it's okay. looking good. Medium cardstock settings with more pressure. So now we are going to load this. Tina is loving this hack. Okay. I always get so nervous that my stuff does not stick down. Uh, that's because Lauren's always wanting to pull out her painter's tape and tape everything down. <laughs> well, so. <laughs> But okay. at least this has her stars aligned in the right place. It does have the star wheels on. Well, if you all know, Lauren at her at my at her desk, craft table, my star. She has them always pushed over to the side, and yep. it just freaks me out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so while that's cutting, we are going to turn our easy press on, and I'm going to adjust the temperature to 310 degrees. So 310. And we're going to go ahead and adjust. You don't have to adjust the time. Um, we're only going to be pressing for 15 seconds, so I'm just going to watch this. Can you believe it's only 15 seconds? It's only 15 That's seconds. Crazy. So we're going to move this over to the side while this cuts. Oh my goodness. If you've tried the DTV and it did not work, let us know what you struggled with so we can maybe make some additional videos for you because um, it's pretty awesome. We used it on Friday and today. It worked great. Um, so a lot of people like I said, are saying that the reason they didn't feel like it worked is because it's that it's that curling issue. Mm. But that's what we're here for. We're now, let me tell you what I did on Friday. So okay. Friday, I did not want to use a transfer tape, a backer, anything like that. I pulled out a Teflon sheet. Throwback, to, because I feel like a year and a half, two years ago, people are using Teflon sheets a lot more. Um, so what I did was I placed my, my image down right where I needed it. Um, and then what I was able to do was kind of make sure that it was in the right place. And then I just laid the Teflon sheet over and it kind of helped flatten that out. I really like the Teflon sheet, so that might help you. And yes, get your ticket for the workshop tomorrow night if you haven't already, $27. Would love, love, love to have you there. Lauren, what's happening over in your neck of the woods? My footballs are cutting out by themselves. Oh. Okay, troubleshooting. We're gonna troubleshoot. You do, gr well, I, it didn't give me the option. So let's go back, let's go back. So typically you can flatten multiple layers um, it, like at once. It's not a typical process. But see, it's not, okay, there it goes. Yay. Now it gives me the option. Okay. No worries, we are just JK. right back at it. You actually may not even need to print it differently unless you just want to. Maybe you want to. Let, let's do it. Just no, no, no. It's cut. Like, it yeah, started it's cut cutting different. it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, once you, when, okay, so Lauren's going to print that out again. Yeah. We had a quick design space correction. Um, so we're going to go into a live Q&A. Lauren is going to print that out again, and she's going to get a new mat because her mat is not looking good at all. So, so we're actually going to cut this a little smaller just to be on the safe side. Love it. We're going to cut this TTD a little bit smaller just so it covers our 
um, inside and not the not our registration marks. So, y'all, I'm just being crazy at this point, I think. Ha! I just want to make sure it works. What was our question? Do we have any? Oh my goodness, we've had so many great questions related to membership, mat cleaning. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Lauren, do we have any insight? We've had a, quite a few friends talking about like the how long this lasts. Do we know how many washes? Do we have any idea of what our estimate is? I know we're still doing some testing to get a more. I've washed a shirt twice. Okay. That has it on there and not had any issues. Perfect. Um, Robin, you do flatten the entire image. So yeah, that's, we so had left I a didn't, few footballs. It was, and, there was a couple footballs that I didn't flatten. I thought I had grabbed them all and yeah, flattened the whole okay. thing. So what it was doing is it was cutting, like it cut two of the footballs out by yes. itself. So now that we've got that down, okay. And just so you guys know, are we overhead? I did not cover these registration marks because our lights are so bright in here mm -hmm. um, that it was reflecting off of that. So it was just a little bit off. So if you want to not cover your registration marks, if you have bright lights in your craft room, then great. It's just these bright lights in our studio completely threw this off. Right. So now we're put, pulling this back through. Amazing. We're connecting to our Maker 3. Um, once again, we are um, doing the medium cardstock because we have the transfer tape over top and we're doing it on more pressure. I have already loaded the mat onto into Look our Cricut, that. measuring the mat length. This mat is... <laughs> it's not my favorite mat. I mean, it's not. It was... Y'all, I literally just ran out there and I was just like... Pop, pop my hand, <laughs> which one, testing which one. <laughs> we have like three or four different brands. Um, I still love my Nicopa. We do love have Nicopa. Seen my Nicopa, my uh, Mac comparison. It's about time to do another Mac comparison because mm -hmm. there's so many on the market now. Yeah. The black ones, the purple ones, all the different mats. I am still a Nicopa guy. Y'all, I'm still a Nicopa guy, so yeah. love it. Um, so anyway, that is, this is just one. I think we did, did we not do a video? Comparing like the cheap bats from I Amazon did. or something. I, I don't. I remember. I remember filming it, Lauren. Did it ever come out? I, I don't think know that it's it in a hack video though. Okay. Like I think one of the hacks is buying off brand. We filmed it earlier this year. Yeah. I know. I know what the day you're talking about. Yeah. So oh, that's export. why we did that. Um, so what this is doing now is it is cutting. And then once it's done, I guess I can go ahead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give this a pre-press. And yes, I should have a heat mat under here. Oh but my it's okay. gosh, you are risky. No, <laughs> look, I've got my, I've got it folded down on itself. I'm kidding. I've got it folded down I'm on itself. Um, Pam, so you're so excited for the class tomorrow. I should buy Makers Gonna Learn before Design Makes Sell. I canceled Cricut yesterday. Yes, Pam, grab your membership. There's two awesome offers for you today to get membership. Number one, $30 off your year membership using the coupon code FALL. That'll get you the most for the least amount. Or you can try monthly membership at half off. So whichever one you prefer is available today. If you go yearly, don't forget that coupon code F-A-L-L. Yay! Went and got a mat for y'all. Oh. Look. Okay. So now that that is cut, what we're going to do is I'm going to take the back off of our DTV. Y'all, are y'all looking at this? Like, look. Oh my. How smooth word. that comes off. And then we had one little thing inside here. So Lauren's here. literally hacking the system. Hacking the system. This one little piece didn't cut right, but we'll just snip that off. So Kim says, do you still lint roll this? So the main reason we've lint rolled in the past is mainly for sublimation. Mm -hmm. That's when we're turning that ink into a gas into like straight into the fibers. Yep. This is not necessarily something you have to lint roll, but if it's a linty shirt, I would recommend lint rolling it. Does that make sense? We've been yep. doing a lot of crafts over the past year. Like, I just want to honor each and every one of you because crafting today 
and crafting a year and a half ago it was completely different. Oh yeah. <laughs> We've got more, you know, material and more hacks and more tricks. You know, there's so many um, more things. So we love it. Now what I'm doing, because really and truly, like I could come in here and I could separate this from the carrier sheet and put it on. But because we do have smaller pieces and it looks like my Cricut needs, this Cricut needs calibration. First of all, let me, ex let me address that. Yes, it does need calibration. Um, but I'm coming in with a second layer of transfer tape and then pulling it up so that these little pieces do not get bent like down up and under uh, when I press it. Wow. So once I've done that with the second layer of transfer tape, I know y'all think I'm crazy, then we're going to lay it down. I also like that this transfer tape keeps this where I want it. Yeah, I love that. And then we are doing this at 310. We're going to press it and I'm just going to watch the watch our timer and we're going to do this for 15 seconds. Woohoo! Now if you don't have DTV, let's talk about other ways you could do this. You could mm -hmm. do this on polyester with your sublimation. You could mm -hmm. do this with regular printable heat transfer vinyl. There's other opportunities to make this project without having to have the just the DTV. Um, the DTV is kind of an added bonus and oh my goodness look at this look. reveal. <gasps> Ooh! Love Ooh. it! Love it. And there you go. Amazing. Love it, love it, love it. And that's it. Wow. Y'all. Wow. I'm I obsessed love with it. it. So Look good. Look at that stretch. Oh, just right off. Look at that stretch. What? Ooh, congrats. Lori just signed up for the workshop. Come join us at the workshop, y'all. Love it. Looks like my colors were a little off. <laughs> yeah, they're very different. I think I changed the colors. Yeah. And the color settings. Yeah. Lauren did not have her uh, design space file saved for this project yeah. compared to the one she first made it. So we yeah. brought a new one.